boys and girls. I got a quick little walk around. Um, you know, I've uh, I talked to quite a few people. Um, this guy here. I've actually been um, on the hunt for a drum, adding a drum to the arsenal. Um, but, you know, I mean, if you've seen any of my stuff, you know I'm a, I'm a sucker for um, versatility. And um, I don't like wasting wasting money and precious real estate on uh, one-trick ponies. So I came across this guy here. This is the, here, let me get you a little closer. This is the American Barbecue Systems Barbie Cube. Uh, so the ABS Barbie Cube. She is um, oh, basically a lot of different things. So we're gonna do a quick little walk around. Um, I know when I was doing my research and things like that, uh, very couple generic um, pictures and very little details on this thing. So. Um, I've been researching for quite a while, and um, uh, so far from, from what I've seen just from uh, build and, and talking to certain people, um, I think I'm, I think I'm going to be happy with it. So here, let me show you, let me show you around a little bit. So here we got her. Let me try to do this without uh, messing with my hands. So. Up here, now this is about the only thing that I'm slightly concerned about is the spin exhaust. Now I know, you know, I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's great, you know, usually once you have your marks, you know where it's gotta be, but I know how these stacks can get. So we'll have to see in the future how this thing holds up when it comes to uh, sludging and just things like that. You know, I have a feeling uh, she's gonna require some attention, but we'll see, I can't, I can't really say, but that's about the only, the only design um, concern I have. Um, otherwise, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Uh, thing is hella big, man. Uh, I think they quote uh, 2,200 square inches of cooking. So you got your raised lid like this. And then up here, you have your racks, uh, which are removable, all stainless steel and they are roller racks. So I kind of like that. That's actually pretty slick. Um, and then of course these things pop right out, this and that. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, uh, a slight little thing so I can actually hang in this thing as well, if I choose to. Um, see, we got a nice uh, nice plate up here. Um, it's all massive 10 gauge steel. Uh, so the thing is built like a tank. I think she weighs in uh, like 430 pounds or something like that. So. Uh, she's definitely got some girth to her and then what's really cool about this we got a uh, tell true gauge um, and As opposed to going up at the top You can come in the front and Then of course all these are pull out again roller racks all stainless Removable you know, so in case you want to do, you know, more, you know, do larger pieces, do smaller, or if you just want to load it with jerky, whatever you want, you know. So these are all removable. And then down here is where you have your coal and wood. So you bring these guys out, and this is a pull-out bin, which I, I, I enjoy. This guy rolls out, um, again, nice steel. It's got the debugger in here. Separate. Got your tray down here. Um, you got locking screws, this and that. Um, and this is all on high, um, high stainless steel uh, rollers, as you can see there. Now, another thing is for, I believe it was, Four, five hundred. You can actually get the pellet system for this thing, where it actually adds the burn pot, a twenty-pound hopper over on the side here, and the controller. So you can basically turn this into a, a pellet smoker as well. But um, I already have one of those. Didn't need one. So put this guy back in. Um, you have vents. Man, she's a beast. You have intake. You have intake on the sides and you have an intake on the back of the thing as well. 
So let me uh, walk you around. We got uh, stainless steel shelves. These all fold, fold right down. Both sides. Um, again, this is uh, I'm assuming for the retrofit for the um, pellet system, if you want it. Uh, Ten inch wheels. Uh, rolls around actually quite easily, even through the grass, through the dirt. Um, for being, you know, 430 pounds, not so bad. Side handles, in case you ever just want to really go hulk on this thing and think you're going to pick it up. You're not. And then we take you around here. And then we got the back over here. We got the nice, uh, nice pull handle. Um, again, just loosen these up. This thing comes right off out of your way. <coughs> got your foothold. And down here, I'm not sure if I'm on it or not. There we go. Got a nice uh, wash valve, clean valve, that kind of thing. Um, again, fire intake adjustments, one on each side. And that's about it. That's her, boys and girls. So, um, oh, you know what? Actually, you can take, um, if you pull out the charcoal bed, out of here, the charcoal box. You can actually remove the top racks, put the charcoal bed in there, and use the top as a straight up charcoal, charcoal grill. So basically you got your charcoal grill, you got tons of real estate for your smoking, whether it be large, big, whatever. Um, you got your wooden coal bin at the bottom and like I said, with a slight little um, little rack system, you'd be able to hang. So I figured it's kind of like the best of all the worlds, you know. It's uh, um, kind of gives you everything you want, you know. A lot of versatility in one smoker, you know. So so that's about it. Um, everything is built well. Everything's straight. Um, beautiful welds. Everything uh, that's not welded is bolted, hardcore. Um, it, um, honestly, it's very reminiscent of, uh, of the Yoder's build, honestly. I mean, the thing is, it's built. Uh, looks like the paint is actually really nice. So, um, we'll see. But um, that's it. That is the ABS Barbie Cube. So, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get her wiped down. I'm going to fire it up, uh, give it a factory burn. I'm going to bring it down to about 200 degrees. I'm going to coat everything with flax oil. And then I'm going to fire it back up again and uh, season her up and get her ready. And then um, cook some food. So, all right. That's all I got. Um, uh, any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have some more information the more I use it, you know. Um, like I said, I just kind of wanted to put some out there. And, I don't know if they need to work on some advertising or what, but um, it actually came came upon me and I started doing some research on it. Like I said, I found very little information on these things and um, uh, anything having to do with the ABS uh, with American Barbecue Systems uh, was raving reviews. Um, they have a couple actually really cool, um, really cool designs on their pits. Um, this one is called a Pit Boss, um, not a pellet cooker. Um, but, uh, it actually is a, is a full pit with shelved rotisserie in it. Um, multiple shelves that just rotate. Um, and then they have another one called an all-star, which is similar to that. Um, with the, uh, charcoal bed in the back, um, the charcoal box in the back, the fire boxes in the back, but it actually is a grill as well. Um, then there's a divider for it and it's just, it's actually some really cool stuff, man. So. Um, so give them a check out Amer American barbecue systems, but, um, that right there is the barbecue. So let's get seasoning later.